If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hello Magic Community on YouTube, I'm T1 Glistener Elf. Quick little story time. Judges, we appreciate what you do. We really do, even if, it's, if it seems like we're really frustrated at you. We're probably frustrated at ourselves for making a mistake or the circumstances. It's probably not you. But there was one time when a judge inadvertently gave me the game. I maybe wouldn't have won, maybe I would have, but certainly not the way that I did had the judge not helped me out. It wasn't intentional, but here's the story. So I'm at Grand Prix DC 2013. This is a legacy tournament, a legacy Grand Prix. Uh, my buddies and I, we make it through our first three rounds. Uh, Paul, shout outs to Paul Sauter, you're awesome. And, uh, and I, we both make it 3-0. But we didn't have any buys, so we're proud of ourselves. We're, we feel like we're coming hot off of three straight wins. And then I get to my fourth round. Now, I'm playing Infect. I'm actually on Bug Infect, Sultai Infect. I played Infect before, it was cool. <laughs> and my opponent is on Lands. Now, for those that don't know how the lands deck works, you should, so, its main win condition is Thespian Stage Dark Depths. You make a 2020 indestructible, black, legendary, flying, <laughs> Merit Lage token. And because of the way that this works with the Life and the Loam, if you happen to deal with it, say, with Swords to Plowshares, you can just bring it back in a couple more turns and just keep going off, etc., etc., etc. It's... Not even a couple more with exploration. It's a it's a pretty good card, but before Dark Depths, or rather before Thespian Stage came out, you either need to win off of Vampire Hex Mage Dark Depths, or you went off of some grindy plan with usually Punishing Fire. Now Punishing Fire seems bad, right? If it, on its face, it seems bad. It's two uh, two mana for two damage, but with Grove of the Burn Willows you can get this back every turn, and once you've deprived your opponent of all of their creatures, you can just keep slowly ticking their life down, one at a time. Well, two and then they gain one, two and then they gain one, etc. So that's one way to go about it. So, I'm playing Infect, and game one, I have it, it's stupid quick, because Infect invigorates a good card, so is Berserk. But he has Chalice of the Void in games two and three, and I, I get wrecked in game two. He just, he crushes me. Even though Chalice of the Void shuts off his crop rotation, shuts off his exploration and whatnot, he's fine with that. He can just punishing fire control all my creatures and I can't win. And I can't protect them with, say, Vines of Asput either. So we get to game three, my opponent resolves a Chalice, and now Nature's Claim won't get me out. I need to find either Crossing and Grip, or Viridian Corruptor, or, now because I was on the play in game three, I managed to have a Glistener Elf out already. And he hasn't dealt with my Glistener Elf yet, so I can still win. I can either deal with the Chalice, or I can deal with, I can just go, you know, straight in. Invigorate, after all, is a three mana card, so it can get me by. And we get to a stage where uh, I'm ready to go to combat, and my opponent tells me to wait. Now, he has open mana. He's representing Punishing Fire. He's trying to make it seem like he has Punishing Fire. The judge walks behind him, and just in a matter of literally about three seconds... Now, before, before I say this, you probably already know where this is going. You can't slow play. You're not allowed to slow play in Magic. But what exactly is slow play, right? Um, if you keep every time someone does anything, you say, in response, and you wait, and you do nothing. <laughs> in response, and you wait, and you do nothing. Well, that's slow play. Uh, it's one thing to bluff. It's one thing to represent that you're going to play something. It's another to just, for the sake of time, keep doing that over and over again. And the judge seemed to think that that's what he was doing, because uh, the judge came behind him and in about three seconds said, I need you to make a play. Now, what that told me, and my opponent looks at me horrified, like, he knows what just happened. What that told me is that he's just bluffing. He doesn't have a punishing fire. He doesn't have any decisions in his hand. He's just trying to make it seem like he has a punishing fire. And so I go invigorate, invigorate. Maybe I don't win that game if he doesn't do that. Maybe not. Now, granted, I had invigorate, invigorate, 
And so what I probably could have done is go and uh, invigorate once, see if he has a response. If he responds with punishing fire, I can invigorate again. But I don't know, he had enough mana, he could have had two uh, punishing fires out. He could have had some janky sideboard tech that I don't know. <laughs> he could have Disfigure, he could have Dark Blast, because that's a thing in, uh, in lands sometimes, they have Dark Blast. I mean, they, they, they could have, he could have any number of cards. Plenty of red, so maybe Lightning Bolt, maybe pfft, Gut Shot, Geist Flame. I don't know, I'm just I'm rattling cards off the top of my head, but you get the point. There could have been something there. And I, I felt like, like I, I felt, I felt dirty for winning that way, even though it wasn't me doing it. So, judges, if something like that happens, just, just be careful. I, I don't, I'm sure there are players that wouldn't mind that. I mind. I, I want to win, I want to actually get the win legitimately. And I, I feel like my opponent was cheated out of that one. Maybe he wins, if that doesn't happen. So anyway, but related to that, Invigorate's a pretty good card. <laughs> it's never getting unbanned in Popper. All right, that's it. That's the story. That's all I got for you. Take care, Magic Community, and I will see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>